A very sad story. A couple's cry for justice is gathering support and momentum in Lagos, southwest Nigeria, after their 12 year old daughter, Whitney Adediron, was rushed to a health facility where she was pronounced dead. Since the news broke, the school and the parents have been on different wavelengths as to what happened on February 9, 2023. New Central's Ni Omoni visited the school premises and files this report. Whitney, a 12-year-old pupil of Queensland School in Lagos, Southwest Nigeria, sent shockwaves through the public. Whitney's mysterious death has left many to question the circumstances surrounding her death. Behind that mechanic village is where the hospital is, the so-called hospital. Meanwhile, it's not, it's not an hospital. So it's it's, it's like a that? immunization center. So when we got there, I saw the girl lying down on a carrier, on a carrier on the floor. Tied already with um, a particular thing you, the, this uh, medical people use in tying the vein if they want to drag out blood. Yeah. So she was already packed, like she's dead already. So why would Christian tell me, we don't know, we don't know. My daughter did not, like they said in their press release, she didn't slump in a room by herself. It was not a private hidden place. There were people there. Have you asked? Have you asked the students? Have you reached out to parents of those children? We can't say that uh, Kislan is on the right side or Kislan is right. I'm not saying that. But why not wait for the autopsy to come out? We can't jump into conclusion that Kislan has done and done. People will say, because it has escalated, we expected all this kind of situation. But the situation has at hand now is disheartening. That's what I can say. It's sad, very, very sad. But for me, I can't put blame on the children or the mother or the Kislan. Let them do the right thing. Let them do the autopsy and see what really happened. According to Chrisland School, Whitney slumped during the inter house sport outdoor activity at the Agaga Stadium in Lagos. While the school has since ruled out any role they may have played leading to Whitney's death, the public has expressed outrage at the school's apparent lack of accountability for the well-being of its pupils, with questions raised about safety. Um, I'm really ashamed, I would say, uh, as uh, the mother, the child's responsibility, as a woman. I'm ashamed on behalf of the school, the management of the school, that almost every quarter we hear very terrible thunder um, emanating from that school. So it speaks into one very fundamental issue, and that is that there's a fundamental issue with the administrative structure of Christian school? Uh, first of all, is to establish that uh, uh, the, there's, a, there's a thin line between safety and security. Uh, of course, safety is what you have control over, uh, while security is some of those external uh, factors uh, that actually lose tears you in the face, mm. uh, in the face of threats. Uh, and obviously, you ask yourself, uh, what were the things that uh, the school had control over uh, during the entire process? Uh, one of the things uh, some of the people Betty had mentioned uh, were the absence of a uh, safety infrastructure. Uh, what is the safety protocol uh, of the school in the first place? Uh, it, it suggests very clearly uh, that those protocols were entirely absent. At number 28 Okbebi Road, Ikeja, Lagos, Southwest Nigeria, is where the Chrisland School is situated. The Lagos State Government has issued a statement that the school should be closed. But it, however, seems only the secondary wing has been shut down. As soon as I got here, an information reached us that the school, that the government already gave verdict that sh should be shut down, is open. So I actually didn't believe that was why I came down to confirm myself. On reaching here, people are going in and coming out. There are workers and cars are being driven in and there is no signage whatsoever showing that this school is shut down. And on the other part where they have the other primary school session, parents have been bringing their children in and cars have been driving and coming out. And when I ask why is the school open, they are telling me that the primary school is open, that the disease was in the secondary school and it's the secondary school that is not open. I can't understand it. The school is owned by one person. The school was told to be shut down. There was no indication whether it's a primary or a secondary school. While investigations are ongoing, the bereaved family hopes to unravel the true cause of Whitney's death. But I knew my husband was upset and said, I need to do an autopsy. I need to have a story. I need to 
have something I can say killed my child. All this idea of, oh, she slumped and died is not okay by me. If the parents are willing to take on the teachers that I mean the provider of the school, yes, they have a, an actionable cause because the school ordinarily need to know or should have known that uh, there are probable consequences of such thing happening uh, in, in, in the cases of uh, sports or sporting events. And this will not be the first time that this happened. So it is ordinarily the duty of the school to take those necessary precautions to avoid situations like this. While the cause of her death remained unclear, there have been calls for stiffer sanctions to be meted out against the school for negligence to serve as a wake-up call for schools to ensure the safety of their students. Ni Omani, reporting for New Central Lagos.